actually chasing the sunrise. Today I thought I'd do a little day for myself. First thing, wake up early, look at the sunrise. Soon as I looked out the window and saw that I had a chance of seeing the sunrise, I got really excited, jumped out of bed, and now I'm on my way. Hopefully we see something nice. There it is. I feel like I better hurry. It's getting so bright and sunrise is in about 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm so excited. I made it. This is the highest point of the hill. This is where I'm going to look at the sunrise. I'm really excited. I don't think I've ever done this before. It's just so nice and peaceful and this is what I love about getting up early and going outside for a walk because hardly anyone is out at this hour and it's just so peaceful. This is so exciting. I'm going to sit here by this bench. There's a bench right here and watch the sunrise. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is this? You can even see it is slightly foggy in the hills behind. It looks so pretty. I'm really surprised at how excited this got me. I feel like this really shows that sometimes it's these simple things that make you happy or sometimes it's simple and um, things that are for free. I mean, watching the sunrise rise was for free. All I had to do was get up early. And it's, yeah, these simple things that you find small joys in. And it's so much fun to watch the sunrise. So if you haven't ever watched the sunrise at your place, definitely go watch it. Sometimes nature is just so beautiful and I have so much appreciation for it and there's just beauty everywhere you look when you're in nature, whether it's plants or the sunrise or animals and interesting insects. And this is exactly what I would imagined my morning to be like. I feel like I've been looking into the sun for too long. I feel like I'm seeing a bright dot everywhere I look. I'm just walking back through this housing area and I don't know if you guys are the same, but I love looking at houses and people's gardens just for inspiration. But I feel like if people see me, they will think I'm weird that I'm looking and pointing at their houses. <laughs> Let me know if you guys do this too. Okay, so I'm back with a cup of hot ginger tea and my journal and for the next reflective self-care date morning with myself, I wanted to self-journal a little bit and to be specific, I wanted to try out the future self-journal. So I'm going to start journaling and then I'll talk to you about more about what this future self-journaling is. This kind of method is from the holistic psychologist and she kind of shares her method on future self-journaling just to as a method to become more aware of actions that you're taking every single day and more aware of patterns that you want to break. So this future self-journal is really to 
become more aware of the things that you do day to day, the small habits, and because it's really these small habits that make up our life. It is these small things that we do every single day on a subconscious level that determines kind of what direction our life is going into towards and we seldomly take the time just to pause and to reflect on is this even the path that we want to go on we're often just so on autopilot so i really like the thought behind this so i decided to try this out this morning so i'm going to share my notes with you guys but the first step you want to take is to become self-aware and to think what is something that you want to change and she has three questions for this so number one is what behavior or pattern do you want to change and for me i wrote down being on my phone so much um of course there are a bunch of things that i feel like i would want to change but this is just the first thing that came to mind then number two is what are some affirmations that can help you achieve changing this behavior so i wrote that I don't need my phone, I'm not going to be missing anything super interesting or important, and I am present, I won't miss out if I don't go on my phone, and a life will be better if I don't go on my phone all the time. Then question number three is, how will I practice this in daily life? So I wrote down, I will practice putting my phone away from me, so in a different location than I currently am, because that helps a lot. I will practice putting it more into airplane mode. I will be more self-aware about how I spend my precious time, and I will think about alternative things I could be doing with this time. So this is the first part of becoming more aware. And then the second part would be bulk of the future self journal. So this is the part that you want to do every single day. So it is four questions only. Number one is daily affirmations. I wrote that I am enough. I don't need to prove myself or my worth all the time. Then number two, what am I grateful for? Um, I wrote that I'm, I'm grateful for my life and the life that I can spend with my loved ones and that we're all alive together. Then number three is I can be my future self today when I dot 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 and I wrote down when I stick to the present moment and forget the digital world. And number four is when I think about who I'm becoming I feel, I wrote, I feel happy and joyful like I'm not missing out on life. So I wanted to share that quickly with you guys. I found that really peaceful and really serene to be just sitting here in the morning and reflecting a little bit. I feel like we do too a little reflecting. We're always distracted by the TV, the social media, other people doing things. We're just always so on autopilot. So after journaling, the last thing I want to do today as a relaxing self-care morning is to move my body a little so I want to do a little bit of Pilates only for like 15 or 20 minutes I've been really enjoying doing some kind of small workout in the morning before I start my midday and have my breakfast so this 20 minute full body Pilates workout is the one that I like to do by move with Nicole I really like her Pilates videos my workout that was so nice and refreshing just coming outside to get some fresh air 
I feel like I always feel so much better after a workout and I used to do them in the afternoon but I just felt so much resistance in the afternoon so I decided to switch it up try it out in the morning and I like it much better in the morning so that completes my serene relaxed reflective morning I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me to this absolutely beautiful morning i just still can't believe so beautiful this morning i encourage you guys also to just take some time for yourself to reflect and do something nice and it doesn't need to be something expensive go out and watch the sunset so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more i do lots of things on my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video have a nice day bye